bottom of the third. Texas down by a run and a first pitch swing and a miss by Young on that changeup from Wicks for strike one. Young reached on a fielder's choice in the first, so he's 0 for 1 today. Now 3 for 9 on the year. The 0 1 pitch, and that's low. So make it one ball and one strike. Garcia on deck, and then Duran after him. This is 3, 4, and 5 in the batting order here for the Rangers today. The 1 1, and that's outside to make it two balls and a strike. Duran playing it short. Corey Seeger getting the day off. After a, a What's up, y'all? Little yesterday. Rangers baseball. Of course, missing Sunday afternoon. Happy Easter to those who are religious, right et cetera, et cetera. Poltois. Third inning of our broadcast Coming in is presented on the third by inning. Abilene Christian University. Cubs Something three, Rangers two. From the online college experience. Happy Sunday. Right. Let's get Abilene it. Abilene Christian University online. They offer a true Christ-centered private school education. ACU.edu. The 2-2 popped up down the right field line. Maybe a play for Suzuki coming in. He starts to slow, and just inside the line, he makes the catch to get Young for the first out. So one oh. away in the last half of the Joshua. third. Joshua, got to go sit down, sir. Is the batter. And uh, Adolis called out on strikes his first time up. And Eric was talking earlier about the Ranger record for... Most consecutive games to uh, start the season with a home run held by Nelson Cruz at four. This pitch misses for ball one. Ian Kinsler, the only other Ranger to have hit in uh, the first three games of the season. Home runs in the first three. Here's a swing and a miss. A uh, vicious cut at a fastball. One and one the count to Garcia. Adolis is one of five overall in franchise history to Homer in each of the first two games of the year. And here, a high pop-up toward the roof. The shortstop, Swanson, calling for it on the outfield turf. He makes the one-hand grab, and Adolis is out for a second time. And that will bring up Ezekiel Duran. Duran, who grounded to short his first time up. So Zeke filling in at short. Two up, two down. Corey Seager today. That's something that Duran did. Cubs started off strong well in the first. In the year last year. Rangers and creeping back in it. Corey Marcus Simeon kind of getting going with, today. Uh, that, that hamstring problem is Corey Seager. Day off. Charged by Morrell. He's got no he needed play. day off. And Duran is on board with the scratch infield hit toward third. You need scratch infield hits, Duran. Remember last broadcast, I told y'all, if Duran the, gets his bat going, here. he'll keep playing. Second hit. Just the second hit for the Rangers, the only other hit Simeon's two-run single and now here's Andrew Kisner but last year from mid-April to mid-May when Duran filled in for Corey Seager he hit 306 with an OPS around 880 pretty good in the first half of the season last year as a fill-in regular as Kisner looks at a pitch that's outside for ball one Kisner reached on a Morrell throwing error and scored the first of the two Ranger runs in the second. This pitch is low. Kisner ahead of the count now at 2-0. and oh. We mentioned Kisner was much better last season hitting righties than lefties, but he hit five home runs against lefties last year in half as many plate appearances as he had against righties. Here's a swing and a miss, 2-1 and one the count. So he had five home runs in 81 plate appearances against Southpaws last season. Hit five home runs against righties, but in 160 plate appearances. Here comes the 2-1, a swing and a miss. A change up coming in for the right-handed batter. Evens the count here to two balls and two strikes. Cubs play Kisner to pull. Cubs obviously familiar with Kisner being in the same division. And here, the second baseman, Horner, playing up the middle. Center fielder, Bellinger, a step or two toward right center. With Duran at first and two men out. Rangers trailing by a run. And Wicks with a toss over to first to get Duran back to the bag. Zeke could certainly be on the move if he feels like he can get the next base. Duran, last year, eight steals during the regular season. 
here. Kisner swings and fouls this one back and so stays alive at two balls and two strikes. Wicks surveying the defense with Horner up the middle and the first baseman Bush holding the runner. The entire right side of the infield open here for Kisner. Zeke with a good lead at first. And again, the 2 2. What's up, that Alex? One is shot the other way, but foul as it curls into the second deck on the first base side. So Kisner <laughs> taking some pitches. Yeah, failing channel. Here from nah, the left just getting my baseball shit squared away. Wicks had a hefty load there. A little the nicer second. background kind of thing. In the second. Still adding to it, but getting it going. Ready with another Very two successful two channel. He I have more than a thousand a subscribers. So. Fastball in that time on Kisner, who strikes out to conclude the frame for Texas. No runs a hit. One man is left. And after three from Globe Life Field. Rain Bring excitement to your landscape with proven winners, Color Choice Shrubs. These flowering shrubs and evergreens have been trialed and tested by experts to make sure they look better and bloom better so, so they're just around. as easy to care for as what's in your landscape not now supposed to be playing but a whole lot more colorful and interesting look for proven winners Sorry about color that. shut up there boy all right Fourth inning at Globe Life Field with the Rangers trailing the Cubs by the score of three to two. A three run homer by Christopher Morrell in the first inning. The big blow in this one. Marcus Simeon had a two run Hey man, I appreciate Texas. the congratulations. And here's Let me Hall offer you congratulations for, the for being an idiot. Batter, <laughs> the only idiot that's on this channel. The Matter of fact, the only idiot that I communicate with. How about that for congratulations? Bluffed a bunt and didn't offer. Horner, the former first-round draft pick out of Stanford, now 0 for 7 on the young season. Does have a walk and a hit by pitch. And he swings and lifts one in the air, foul on the first base side. Over for a look is Jared Walsh, but this one about three rows in behind the Rangers' first base dugout. And Gray is in on the count at 0 and 2. We are playing with the roof closed again today, as we did the first two days. So we are yet to have our first... Uh, game of open air baseball in the regular season we did play with the roof open for game two of that exhibition series against boston on tuesday let's go rangers as gray's pitch comes in low. defense is one and two on Nico pitching Horner. is decent so far john gray kind of started gray off rough as you can see in the first and inning the but plate. he's Balfour. come around it rangers bats need to get going dane dunning goes for the rangers tomorrow Last year's Ranger Pitcher of the Year will oppose Ryan Pepio, the talented right-hander whom the Rays acquired from the Dodgers. Scores at the top of the Glass screen deal. for those his Rays who need to five and one know what's Dodgers. going on in the rest of the baseball world. Ten starts, seven Maybe doing points. Sunday night baseball. And a swing and a Maybe not since I'm short doing short this game right field. now, but Back we'll see. Out goes Duran and Appreciate y'all hanging out. What a play by Ezekiel Duran. What a play. Sprinting out toward left center field with and his back. Another to the one got to go sit down. One handed basket catch. And there's one down. One out. Well, two the to key go. There is to recognize 
exactly where that one is going, and to get a good first step, he got a good turn and started the Jets. Made it uh, out there uh, fairly uh, deep into left center. He covered a lot of ground, yeah. showed great speed. And here's Talkman. He was robbed by Langford and left his first time on a sliding catch near the line. And the left-handed batter takes a strike on the first pitch curve. Talkman out of Bradley University, former Rocky, Yankee, and Giant. The 01, and it is low, a 33-year-old veteran who's had almost a thousand big league at bats in his career. A 240 lifetime hitter. One ball, one strike, one out in the fourth. It's three to two Cubs. Here we had Gray. explosive ranges yesterday. Outside, and that one misfiring badly. We and had other stuff going on. Couldn't strike. do ranges yesterday, but I was Dunningham definitely Pepeo listening tomorrow, to it. That is a 550 first pitch. Texas More like time. the ranges we have become accustomed to over the last two, two seasons, including the and championship pitch, one. It is outside three and one. Yes, sir. And I guess we will get our uh, come on, John Gray, on the stadium situation in Tampa, St. Pete, when we get there. It now appears though they will be staying in St. Petersburg. Three one. Outside ball four, so uh, Talkman is on. The Cubs have had base runners in every inning. They had hits in each of the first three, a total of five hits. They lead the Rangers three to two, and here comes the catcher, Amaya, who had a ground ball single between third and short his first time out. It also appears as though we will be staying in St. Petersburg <laughs> compared to last year when we actually stayed in Tampa. Right. We love it in St. Pete. Yeah. Here's the pitch that swung on and drilled up the middle of base hit. That almost got a piece of second base on it. Come on, through. John Gray. Maya now is two for two. As he rifled that single right past John Gray, and there are two men on with one out. Cubs looking to add to a three to two I'm lead. On a double play ball. Y'all smell Ian that? Hap will be the batter. He's grounded out and singled. You know, Let's hope from so. Panama, one of 80 players in Major League history to come from that country, but there have been very few catchers. The only one I can pinpoint is the former Ranger, Anar Diaz. The Rangers Let's get out of this in Cleveland, it. Uh, back in the early 2000s. The pitch is a little high to Hap, and it's ball one. John Hart, when he acquired Anar Diaz, told us he plays like his hair is on fire. We weren't sure if that was a good thing or not. <laughs> Michael Still Jackson, sure. Pepsi commercial. 1-0. Gray turns, throws to a second, almost throws it into center. As Come on, Gray John Gray. Let's focus on getting the bat, out not entirely towards covered, the plate. And uh, had to lunge to his left. Thinking about way throw. too much right now, homie. Not the best executed pickoff play I've seen. Great job, though, by Zeke of keeping that one from going into center. One out, runners at first and second. Young plays even with the bag at third and off the line about 30 feet. Durant's toward the middle, and Gray misses inside. It is two balls and no strikes. Gray had a 27-pitch first inning, giving up the one-out single to Suzuki, the walk to Bellinger, and the home run to Morrell. But then just eight pitches in the second, only 12 in the third. He's struggling so in the fourth. 13 in this inning. And he misses with the slider here. Let's go, Johnny. So he's behind half at 3-0 and oh with Seiya Suzuki on deck. You do not need a big in it right now. Grabs the rosin bag. Now looks back in at 3-0. and oh. Go ahead and sweep this series and keep going. A quick check of second base. And the pitch swung on and a smash to the right of Simeon. That's through the right center of base. Uh oh hit. That'll score Talkman. Around the third goes Amaya. And the ball gets away in the outfield. And all the way around the score is Miguel Amaya. Half winds up at second. And the Cubs now lead 5-2. to two. Hey, you hear all the Cub fans in Texas? Well, first, Think about that. Uh, they louder than the Texas Leody fans right now. First, but he slid over Man, 5-2, to two, John Gray. Kind of smelt that coming. Got him to the ball. Smelt that but it creeping went under up. his body and under his glove and had to be backed up by Evan Carter. Uh, the other thing very apparent on that play, there are a lot of Cubs fans here today. Yeah, they're making some noise. They have uh, been stifled somewhat the first two games. <laughs> 
but they, they have, have been making noise life. in all three games, especially today. They're scoring it a double for Ian Happ, giving him one run batted in, and saying that the second run, Amaya scored wow. That's on why the I error by Leo Tavares letting that ball get through him. So it's an RBI double and another run scoring on an error. Still had no day. And that will bring up Seiya Suzuki, uh -huh. and it also uh, gets some action going in the Ranger bullpen with the Cubs now leading five to two in the fourth. Just inning. now, should have been having action, action, action going. Coach just Harris, in case this happened. Who didn't start waving a mile if I saw it coming saw in the ball get by fourth. Lady. There was a reason he missed Amaya's showing pretty good speed game two start there. Stiff neck. Suzuki has singled and fly to center. They should have had somebody the ready. with half at second. And right, one out. Just update it. We are in the top of the fourth. Let's update it. The pitch is swung on and popped update up. Update First base board. side near Keep the dugout. Accurate. Jared Walsh has a play. And he makes the catch with a foot to spare huh. in front of the Ranger dugout. So Suzuki is retired for the second out of the inning. And Cody Bellinger is coming out. Bellinger walked and scored in the first. Fly to left, going after the first pitch in the third. Jose Urania is the first man up in the Ranger bullpen today. Right-hander, former Miami Marlin. Bellinger up there with two outs and a runner at second. Uh, it's five runs on seven. We need to get out of this in and like two, hits two runs Rangers. ago. Appreciate y'all hanging out. The Cubs Sunday had scored a total Rangers of five runs in the first two games and a total <laughs> of only 11 hits. Struggling the day a little bit, especially on the mound. The pitch is inside and low. It is ball Cubs one, have a good team. Bellinger. Plenty of baseball to go, though. Christopher Morrell would be next. Gray the set. A long hold. Now kicks and fires. And that's inside and low. It is two balls and no strikes. So Dunning <coughs> against Pepio tomorrow. Andrew Heaney against Zach Eflin Tuesday. Another five Definitely does not have Central good control time. today. And that's for sure on the mound. Against Aaron Savali at 12 10 Wednesday. The pitch this is low. So the Rangers will always be say three baseball is the one the sport race. that's a team Rays sport. In Toronto but it literally, literally comes down to St. Petersburg today. And Toronto's leading play. that game seven to one. If Toronto wins, that evens the series Pitcher two two. First bat. Gray comes home with a slider and misses low to Bellinger. Mm, three and straight low pitches. The second time. That and sounds like a Christopher walk coming. Come on, and it baby. also brings Bruce Bochy out of the Ranger dugout, and he's going to make a pitching change here. Thank you, pitch change. He Jose didn't mess Urania. around, did he? is going to make his Rangers debut with the Cubs leading here by the score of five to two. So with the pitching change, let's pause for these messages on the Louisiana Hot Sauce Rangers Radio Network. If, if you could have one superpower, what would it be? Be invisible. <laughs> Potois style.
57th as a reliever. He's at 143 starts. He was a 14-game winner for Miami back in 2017 and was their opening day starter in back-to-back -back seasons. Fastball slider changeup pitcher. He deals now to Christopher Morrell. Runners at first and second. Two outs. Cubs leading 5-2 to two in the fourth inning. And the first pitch misses for uh, ball one to uh, Morrell. Well, year, the Arrhenia Cubs have the season between not the John and the White Gray Sox. out of the game. For each. I think one, one inning pitch, too late. Swung on, popped up, near but third base. Josh we'll Young through it. the coach's box has a play and makes the catch. That would be nice. Between the coach's box and the that Cubs dugout. Long. So Urania puts out the fire. The Cubs come up with two runs in the inning on two hits, and they leave two. And in the middle of the fourth, it's five to two Cubs on the Louisiana Hot Sauce Rangers Radio Network. The Ad Council. Com. The Cubs have restored their three-run lead. They had a three-nothing lead after the top of the first today. And now it's five to two going to the bottom of the fourth. Jared Walsh first up against the lefty Wicks, and he takes a strike. Walsh grounded out his first time up, going lefty against lefty. Carter on deck, then Tavares as Walsh pops one up. Near home plate, a late start for Hamaya coming back toward the stands, but it's out of play. See how many runs we can get so this in and versus going Walsh. three up, three down. And we've talked about Walsh and the way he's been able to come back from neurological issues. He gives a lot of credit to a oh new no, cloudy, partly cloudy, cloudy. Team. Day out here yeah, in to Texas. Him to the They're playing with the roof closed. It's quite the party cloudy, here. windy. Oh, two. And it is high. One ball and two strikes. Should be playing with the roof Can't open. Can't wait to go walking by a Some cafe conditions. and see the two of you having lunch together this year. Yeah. While well, bringing their personalized gluten-free bread with them. <laughs> That's right. One and right. two, and the pitch is low. Two balls and two strikes. It is a, a strange hit, world baby. out there. We need something right here. With wheat flour. I mean, let's – no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get a hit, two, baby. Two pitch. <laughs> Swung on and fisted into right a base hit. There you he go. Caught off an inside pitch and just uh, muscled it over the infield. Jared Walsh gets a hit off a lefty. There you go, Jared. The Rangers a leadoff base runner on their third hit of the day. Five to two, the Cubs Jared are leading. Walsh. Here's Evan Carter. Old school. Who drew a walk. LA three Angel. and two, his first time up. The set by Wicks, and the pitch. And that is over for a strike. Wicks, the highest drafted play hey, ever. Wicks out there throwing highest the ball over the plate, though, Kansas State. which means he giving you something to yeah, hit. So good pitchers come out of that. Get a good one. Notably Ted Power. Good the contact on it. Long time. Let's go some Cincinnati. runs. Get a little rally going. Pitch is inside for a ball. One ball and one strike. He's considered 
the number eight or number nine prospect. You need to see the Rangers much more active on the base path, lead. too. A little small ball. 1-1. One, one. Swung on and grounded behind the bag at second base. And off the glove of mm. Swanson. It mm. skitters out into left center. There you go. That will allow Walsh to proceed to third. As that ball had some funny spin coming off the mound. And it ate up the gold glover, Dansby Swanson. So it's the second error committed by the Cubs on the infield today. They normally have a very good defense. And the Rangers have runners at first and third and nobody out for Tavares. Okay, he had no so idea now where the do ball not was leave second base open for more than the four pitches. And, and, you know, I don't care what the four pitches are. Speaking, it like he was in a good position and hit give me, out of the first four pitches, legs, give me one to his right or left. attempt of a stolen base Tavares, without the hit and run on. And a swing and a miss by Leody on a first pitch changeup. Leody drew a walk his first time up. Well, last year when the Rangers Try played the games, they almost advantage. always scored a lot of runs. Oh, one pitch is outside. They actually averaged close to eight runs a game in home day games. And about four and a half runs a game for road day games for an overall average of six runs a game during the day. One and one. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Misses. It is one and two. Another changeup from Jordan Wicks. So Walsh is at third and Carter is at first. Carter Rangers has speed. Two Carter needs to go. Cubs go. Got one steal the base. Of the five they scored off John Gray. <laughs> Let's go, so right? As a result of the uh, Leody Tavares. He got error. wheels. Huh. The set and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Fastball up and in. The Error by Leody, by the way, the second error. Now, you tell me how many pitches are we at this year? It's the fourth pitch right here. We need to be stealing this base. So there's one big out recorded by Wicks. Ah, he works well, with a five guess we're not stealing no base. He just struck his ass out. Two RBIs for Texas. So that was four uh, pitches, no base attempt. Left. He's also fly out, so he's one for two. Infielded Carter has out. wheels. Point Why hasn't he? The middle at second. You know what? The first pitch misses. Ball that second one, base two, is open for Marcus way Simeon too long right Langford now. On deck. Again, if you're joining us late, Corey Seager just getting a day off today. If Simeon one was to get a base and hit and right here. Strike, change up. One and one. Carter going to be Corey still at third base. Likely will not play at all. He won't be coming off the bench to pinch hit. When they give him a day off, it is a true day off. Let's one go small one. ball. And the pitch is swung on. That slugged the deep left field. Back goes Talkman. Uh -oh. He turns. He looks. It's off the very top uh -oh. of the wall. Wall scores. Carter to third. It's a double for Simeon. And the Cubs lead is cut to 5 3. So Marcus now y'all trying to tell me it shouldn't be 5 to 4. You see what I'm saying? Another spoonful we'll of take the run. Maybe it's a whole Got run. it. Hey, but he's come right on. At the top of the Manager. Wall as he smashed hey, I like one -one Bruce Bochy. From Wicks. As we take a look at the replay, should be 5-4 wow. right now. Yeah, it, it, another inch or two, and it's out of here. Yep. Should it's be 5-4 right, five, four right now. Line. So a three RBI so game for Simeon. We He's need to get to this run. With a single and a double. And that way, I, have, that that way I don't have shit to say. If, Carter, if we get board. three outs and Carter still Langford standing on third base, out. shame on us. He actually did chase a couple of pitches out of the Let's strike zone last time up. Went after change up low and then struck out on a fastball high. Infield is back. Pitch to Lankford is low. A first pitch change for ball one. Lankford who already has one RBI with a chance for more right here. The lefty set. Let's go, rookie. Pitch you got swung it. on and a high drive uh -oh. center field. Uh -oh. Bellinger back. He's at the wall and it's over his head and uh, off the floor. Oh, that's what I'm saying. I have Both shit else to score. say now. Langford tearing for third. Here's the throw on two hops. Not in time. Uh, he slides in with a two run up triple. triple. Wyatt Langford has tied the game. <laughs> wow, first should time be up one run though, right? Two times through the order. Wicks <laughs> should be up did one not run. give up an extra base hit. Now third time through the order here. He serves up a 1-1 curve to Simeon that goes off the top of the wall in left. 
here a 102. No, he shouldn't. That's right. It balanced out. And Langford hit it off the track. Good job, young man. Good job. Tied a baseball game up going into the fifth the inning. Infield in. Will we be tied or will we have the young lead? The batter swings and misses. It is 0 1 on a fastball up and in. We got Rangers baseball is in effect. Going on in the What's up, Blender? Right Appreciate you hanging out. New subscriber alert. Here's Hopefully that's fair to Wicks say. In the pitch, and Young takes it inside for a ball. Adolis Garcia. I said we needed a rally. Here's the pitch to Young. I can't believe these Outside fools actually low, don't think the Rangers have a chance to repeat. They don't give us a, a chance. Warming in the Literally. For the Cubs. Literally. He was very effective yesterday. Faced four batters. Since we don't have Otani. We didn't have Otani last year. Or Mookie Betts. The set. The pitch. Young swings. Or misses. Ronald Acuna He's Jr. Chased a couple of fastballs out we didn't have none of those guys last attack. year, did we? And the count now two and two as Josh calls time and walks away at the plate. Boy, Langford's speed from home to third on that triple was something to see. That was just under 30 feet hey, per between second, Langford which triple and Carter, plus plus 21 speed. and 22, respectfully. Man, he was flying. Hey. Here comes the 2-2. Two -two. Young swings and fouls it away. Young Corey C. So uh, we have a new ball game here at 5-5. Young Josh Young. We've got some Point crooked intended. numbers up there. The Cubs a three-run first baby. and a two-run fourth. The Rangers a two-run second and a three-run fourth and looking for more. The count is two and two. Langford a short lead at third with the infield in. And the pitch, he struck him out swinging. Mm. High fastball. It's okay. Young just couldn't lay off that pitch and miss it back. And it is up to Garcia now with the runner at third and two outs. Duran on deck. Uh -huh. Garcia. You'd have to Garcia. consider walking. My man, let's Garcia. One. He has struck out and popped out today. He did have two home runs in the first two games, so he's liable pitch. not to do anything today. It but that's okay one. with me. You give me two home runs in the first two games. You're doing good for yourself. Five hits in the ball game for the Rangers now. Appreciate that, Blender. Now it's official. New subscriber four. alert. Owen one to Adolis. The pitch swung on and lifted in the air. Foul on the first base side. Don't Push give him an over, easy one, though. Play, about seven Don't just hit it back, straight up and let him catch it. And Adolis is in a hole at Owen two. Uh, Wicks trying to stay in the game and trying to escape the fourth inning in a tie. John Gray is off the hook. It's mm. Jose Urania's. John Gray, don't now. get the loss. It's funny how baseball works. Nothing into the count. Here comes the pitch. Adolis on a check swing. Can't stop. He goes Got around it. on a high fastball. And he has struck out. So uh, not a great at bat for Adolis, not a great at bat for Josh Young. A lot Young, of Cub the fans there, get though. The game tied up. They get three runs on three hits and a costly error. Appreciate y'all hanging as out. As we go to the fifth, it's the Rangers Sunday five baseball. and the Cubs five. On the Louisiana hot sauce. We make sure hackers don't mess with Texas. Oops. Telesystem's job. Sorry about that. Probably need to hit the button the other way. By the way, can't watch the game? No worries. 3D mode. I think I'm the only one using the 3D mode. Hey.
available at the Home Depot. We're tied at five as we start the fifth. Jose Urania to the plate, and he misses wide to Dansby Swanson with a slider. That is Urania's out pitch. Swanson has struck out and doubled. Righty to righty, and the pitch a little bit low for a ball. Make it two balls and no strikes. Swanson in his career, six for 23 with a home run off Urania. That's a 260 batting average. 2 0 as the right hander delivers, and that's fouled at the plate. Two balls and a strike. Urania wearing long blue sleeves underneath the white jersey. He wears the number 54. Let's go, pitching. That is Rich Gossage's old Got number. Got the gold glove of Swanson. And Daniel Swanson. Former Atlanta Brave. Got Two skills. balls, one strike. Strike his Urania ass out. Hand in the glove at the waist. Comes up to the shoulders and then comes home. And he gets that slider over for a strike. Straight. The count is two and two now on Swanson to be followed by Bush and then Horner. Let's mess with the screen a little bit. Urania pushes off and delivers, and he missed inside. A change there. there and we count go. at three balls and two strikes. Different angle. Urania said that uh, he played a lot of different positions till he was about 12, and says at that age in the Dominican he started focusing on pitching. Pedro Martinez. Let's go, Rangers life. baseball. Three and two, payoff pitch. She walked him. Uh, don't outside. give him a freebie. No walks from me. time to time have been uh, a problem hey, for those freebies will come career. back and hurt. Three walks every eight. Especially minutes. when you give it to him from a walk standpoint. Tie ball game and Swanson, a leadoff base runner. That brings come up on, Michael Bush. Rina. Bush has struck out and flied to deep center field. Is this old school Urena from uh, Miami? Facing Urania for Marlins. his first time. A left-handed batter swings and fouls it away. Let's pause for station identification. How about they'll play ball? Louisiana Hot Sauce Rangers Radio Network. Your home of Texas Rangers baseball. KRLD FM and HD1 Dallas Fort Worth. We are 1053 The Fan. Rangers five, Cubs five, fifth inning. Arania delivers. New ball game. Check swing. Cubs it is low. Off, ball up. bounces away from Kisner. And down to second base goes Swanson. He got a good Pittsburgh read on the dirt over ball. Over Miami. Seven Bounced six, right out in front of the ninth. Plate. Swanson was on the way. And now they're saying it was a foul ball. So Swanson Braves, will have four, to go back Phillies, to first. Five. It was a check swing foul ball. So now it is 0 and 2 KC, on first. KC, Swanson Minnesota, first. zero. Duran, the shortstop, yeah, way over toward working. the middle. Young playing in the traditional Minnesota shortstop Minnesota, two hole. men on base. And the pitch is swung Yankees on and three. fell tipped into Houston the middle of Kisner. Three. And Top Bush of the is seven. out. One out, one on, tied at five. Hey, Houston has lost Jerry. the first this two is games of the Talk season. Talk Casinos and Resorts That's a nice the lead play. for the Chris Rangers, Sale right? making his Braves debut Let's today. Go baseball. He left with the chance to pick up a win. The Braves' bullpen has let him down. The Phillies, looking for their first win of the season, have come back. They lead the Braves 5-4. to four. That game heading to the bottom of the eighth inning. Kyle Schwarber with his first home run of the Kyle season. Kyle Schwarber got up there and smashed that baseball. I was yeah, listening to that early one. before the Rangers Low game started. Outside. Mark Leiter Jr. is up in the bullpen now for the Cubs with this game. New subscriber alert. Five. Definitely appreciate that. Sunday one ball championship count. baseball. And here's the pitch. And that's tight. Mm. Two balls and no strikes. And just an update okay. in Houston. We don't need another walk. We're leading three to one. That game is now tied at three between the Astros and the Yankees heading to the seventh. The Yanks trying to sweep the four games. And that pitch comes in there for a strike. It is two and one. Clark Schmidt, the Yankee starter today, and JP France for the Astros. Two and one, a short lead for Swanson at first. And here's the pitch. And that just missed. Slider backed up that time. Didn't have much bite to it. Oh. And the count at three and one. Can we get a strike? Now he got to throw him something right down Talked the plate. Left-handed batter on deck. 5-5 five, five tie. Now the first the sinker he inning. threw was 87. That sinker was the set by almost Arena 97. And the pitch. And he hit him with a breaking ball. Oh, Lord. He didn't hit the no man. Bite at all. It's going and downhill fast, y'all. Pitch coming in at 85 miles an hour. Gee. Moves Swanson down to second base. And in the tie ball game now, I'll Talkman smell a double steal coming. Talkman lined out to Langford. 
He made a great sliding catch in the second, then walked and scored in the fourth. Talkman hitting eighth today. This is second year with the Cubs, and last year he had a very productive season. Played more than in any other year in his career. Pitch is low, gets away from Kisner. Oh, Lord. Ricochets to the backstop. The runners move up to second and third. Oh, my goodness. It's getting worse. That one shooting off Kisner uh, to the backstop on the first base side is that ball a short hop These off experimental mitt. pitches that we don't know anything pitch. about as far as Ranger fans training training go. This year with Arania pitching and Kisner catching. Hoping for the best for the pitch staff. Arania got charged with two wild pitches. This one certainly was a difficult one to handle. Rangers have the infield back at second and short. They're even with the bags at the corners. And the pitch is way inside. It is two balls and no strikes on Mike Talk. So he's throwing like Miguel Amaya, eight straight balls. Nine batter on deck. And Maybe Maya already has two singles today off John Gray. Arania behind in the count, 2-0. and oh. First base is open. There's one out. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Good changeup. And the count at 2-1. and one. Talkman has never faced Jose Urania before. Urania broke into the big leagues with Miami back in 2015. They signed him out of the uh, Dominican as an international. He is Miami. Game. That's what I figured. It looked like him on the screen, but wasn't the quite ball, sure. Out of play. He was He's with Miami from 2015 now. through 2020. Spent a year in Detroit in 2021. Divided 2022 between Milwaukee and Colorado and split last year between Colorado and the White Sox. Signed by the Rangers as a minor league free agent in January. The pitch cut on and missed. A slider and a big strikeout for Urania. With Not a big strikeout. That's out. a now huge two away. strikeout. If nothing else He's for his confidence. He's got a chance to get out of the inning if he can get the number nine hitter, the catcher, Miguel Amaya, who has singled twice You need to get the number eight and nine hitters because if you don't get eight and nine Urania right here and now, the Marlins got one of them. Got to get this one. Perhaps his best overall season. One other stat. Because then Vegas. one and two come up. Comes the pitch to Juan Morrell coming up with somebody standing at third base. Off the netting above no the Cubs sir. dugout. The one one. No, ma'am. So in that 2017 season, out. Arena led the major leagues in one statistic. Would you care to guess what he led the bigs in in 2017? He's done it in this inning. Imagine it has to do with a lack of control. He led the majors with 14 hit batters that year. There you go. And yeah, the stuff's always been there. The command, not always. Mike Maddox, the Ranger pitching coach, was very excited when the Rangers signed to Urania. Happened to do a speaking engagement with him that week. Very bullish on Jose Urania. A one pitch. And that is low. One ball and one strike. Well, the times we saw him in spring training, his stuff was really good. Yeah, he had to win his spot on the club, and he did. Out pitching the likes of uh, Adrian Sampson and uh, Danny Duffy and a cast of uh, thousands of other former big leaguers. One and one, there's a swing and there's a drive hooking foul down the left field line. Mm. Out in front of a slider. Don't get him. Don't Amaya get him. Is down in the count at one and hit. two. And Arania is a strike away from getting I've seen out a of lot of sinkers and some fastballs. That's pretty much it. Inning. Primitive. We had a walk, a strikeout, a hit batter, a wild pitch, and another That's a good strikeout. question. Letty Groves. Appreciate you hanging out. Rain Hopefully I set. can say and new subscriber alert. Swing on, bouncing ball right side. Long run to his left for Simeon. Get He's it. got it. Throws in time. Get it. Simeon ranging far mm. to his left on the outfield turf. And able to get it to first yeah. to Walsh to retire Amaya and end the inning. Mm. No runs, no hits, and two men left. Great well, job no by Urania to get that. out of it. And we make sure hackers don't mess with uh, Texas. Telesystem's job is to allow business break. leaders to sleep that. better at night knowing that their cybersecurity.
What's up, Music Miranda? You are extremely welcome. Everybody's welcome. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me. Night in, night out, or at least whenever I'm on. Baseball time of the year. Right-hander Mark Leiter Jr., who takes over on the mound here in the bottom of the fifth inning for Jordan Wicks. Okay, so we have gotten up, uh, Mr. Hicks runs. out of the game and, into the uh, bullpen. Only two of them were earned today. Now, Leiter Here's Jr. got a little something, but so do we. On a roller Let's go, Rangers baseball. Zeke, the breaking ball over for a strike. Strike. Leiter, six feet tall, 210 pounds. He's 32 years of age. We could use a double right here, Duran. Mark pitched 11 seasons in the majors. His cousin Jack had a brilliant outing for a round rock last night with five strong innings. There's a swing and a liner foul down the left field line. 0 oh and 2. Leiter gave up a two run homer in his last inning of work last night, but was absolutely unhittable for four. Michael Lorenzen started that game, and then Leiter took over. Round rock won it 8 to 6. Tied at five here, Rangers and Cubs. And the pitch is outside and low. Leiter making his 153rd big league appearance and his second in this series. He's a split finger specialist. Last year with the Cubs was in 69 games, posted a 350 ERA. First broke into the big leagues with the Phillies back in 2017. He's working one and two on Duran. And here's the pitch. That's low. Two balls and two strikes. Let's go, baby. Make him throw you a good one. Don't chase it. Lighter on opening Duran day. Duran liked to chase. Was brilliant. Faced five batters, retired them all. And struck out Zeke. The and Rangers get to see him for the second time in two games. Here's the 2-2 offering. Foul back. As Duran hangs in there and stays alive. That's how you know you got a good Wednesday, bullpen. Wednesday, April 10th, if you can get it'll up be there World again. Series replica trophy night presented by T-Mobile. same Mobile. series. First 10,000 fans get to the Rangers. Striking them out, et cetera. We'll get a Come on, Rangers. replica of the Act World like Series trophy. Act like you've seen trophy. him before. Get your tickets at Zeke swings, bounds one off the mound behind second base. Corner with it, long throw, not in time. Safe. Duran with his second infield single of the game. As he beat Safe. out a ground ball past the mound that Horner had to go behind the bag to field. And in a 5-5 game, Duran is on as the leadoff batter in the fifth inning. Yeah, Horner had to go away like to I get said, to that. The ball was slowed before. up because it did, as you described, hit the mound. But uh, Zeke just too fast. So now it's Kisner who has reached on a throwing error by the third baseman and struck out. Right-handed batting catcher. And the pitch swung on, and that one is slugged high down the left field line, hooking toward foul territory. And it is a uh, foul ball. Wow. Plenty of distance. That wasn't foul by much. It started to back up toward the pole. I thought it might hit the pole. Hey, Blinn, very reluctant I to plan on going to some games finally this decided, year, too, hey, man. This, this might definitely, be fair. Definitely, definitely, definitely. <laughs> He slowly returns to if the plate. If I can pull it off, the Ranger fans know a thing or two about flavor. That's why the original don't know how Louisiana brand hot sauce is the official hot off. sauce of the Rangers. Perfect We're going to do something live. I'll sit my ass as high as I can by myself and bring try to bring, to bring a live game. We're tied at five. Like lighters pitch. Kisner in fouls it off to the right. Live in every Kisner had his best of offensive word, season right? last year. Crowd noise. 10 home runs. Camera action going on. Just over make 200 that at bats. He started 63 games behind the plate. It's a hell of a ballpark. 
It was his seventh year with the Cardinals. 0-2. Here comes Leiter. And that one is looped foul off to the right behind the Rangers' dugout. Kisner 0 for 1 and a walk in his career against Mark Leiter Jr. Playing, of course, in the same division as the Cubs when he was with St. Louis. It's five runs, six hits for Texas, five runs, seven hits for the Cubs. One error committed by the Rangers, two by Kisner the Cubs. Kisner definitely has a good catcher. Back there goes the runner. The pitch is swung back. on and missed. The throw to second base is late. Uh, Duran diving in head first is easily ahead of the throw. You go a little as small he ball. swipes second as Kisner is striking out. And in a 5-5 game, Jared Walsh will have a chance to Jared. untie it. Nice Jared. shot by Zeke to hold the bag. We should have uh, two like steals on the day today already. Off just should. slightly, at least but two uh, stolen he managed attempts. to keep his left hand there on the base. That wasn't even close. No, great really. job by Amaya there, picking a low throw in the dirt and unloading in a hurry. So here's Walsh, who's grounded out and single to right. Batting against a righty now. Leiter works off the first base side of the rubber. No He's double play sleeves. ball. And his pitch is outside, a slow curve that didn't have much bite to it. The game brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Looking for a career path. I bet he won't throw that pitch again. Slow curve with no break. <laughs> throw that bad boy right, right over the plate online. and watch it leave the leave the stadium. One and oh. Lighter deals. Swung on and a high pop up into short ah. left field. Talkman coming in and toward the line. Now slows, backpedals, makes the catch and falls down, but hangs on to the baseball. He turned that into a bit of an adventure, looking up into the roof. And with two away, it will be up to Evan Carter here to try All right, and get young that runner Carter. in from second. See what you got, sir. Rangers now are three for nine with men in scoring position. While the Cubs are two for eight. The only long ball today came from Christopher Morrell with two men on in the first inning for the Cubs to give them a quick three nothing lead against John Gray. Here's the pitch to Carter. And that is tight for ball one. Carter has walked and reached on an error, and he has scored two runs. Leody Tavares would be next. Duran, a walking lead at second. Here's the pitch. It's in the dirt to Carter. It is 2-0. and oh. The shortstop Swanson toward the middle. That keeps Zeke a little bit closer. The outfield dead straight away against Carter. Still looking for his first hit on the year, although he's been on base several times. He's had four walks, and he's reached on an error. A throw to second base, and diving back in is Duran. As no tag is put on there by Swanson. Carter What's up, Ian? A couple of walks. Appreciate that, man. I ain't going to lie to you. I did turn the volume up a choice on the broadcast, the on the announcer part. Spent some time on Thank the you for letting me know that. What's up, brother? Here comes the 2-0. Carter is swinging a miss on that splitter. And the count is 2-1. and one. The season tickets are still available. You get benefits like priority access to postseason tickets. Explore your options at rangers.com slash season tickets. 2-1. and one. The game is tied. Pitch to Carter is low. And the count, three balls and a strike. Yankees and Astros now in the bottom of the seventh in Houston. Tied 3-3. The Angels have scored their first win of the season, beating the Orioles 4-1. Wash's team meeting, obviously, took effect. 3-1. and one. Here comes the pitch. Carter is swinging. Salty this. mofo. Three I like two. that name. Uh, Taylor Ward with a home run. Reed Appreciate you joining us. Is the Angels defeated the Orioles, who for two games looked like they were unbeatable. Estevez got the save for Detmers in that ball game. Let's go, Three young two Carter. Carter. With Duran at second, and the pitch is low and inside, and Evan will take another walk. Hey, he's got five of them now in the first now three games of the season. Now we need a double steal. Mr. Full count. That was two again. outs. I don't care. And here comes Get a Leo double Tavares steal going. The game tied. Runners at first and second. He has walked. Push it to out. the limits. And it's not just impressive that he has five walks, but five walks versus no strikeouts to this point in the season. 
Well, the Odie faced lighter in the ball game on Thursday and flied out to deep right against it. Anthony Rendon, by the way, was the leadoff batter for the Angels today. How about that? Here's the pitch to Leody. And he takes high and outside for ball one. He bats left-handed for the first time today. I think that's the second time, at least the second time, that he's been the leadoff guy. Uh, Shanuel hit second, and uh, Trout hit third with Ward in the cleanup spot. 1-0. The pitch is swung on and popped up into short center field. Going out, Swanson coming on, Bellinger. Uh. Bellinger with the catch. And the Ranger threat has died. Both teams threaten in the fifth. Neither team scores. No runs, he hit two left. And after five, we're still tied at five on the Louisiana Hot Sauce Rangers Radio Network. Now with the MLB app, you can get baseball kind of your wild. way. Pick your favorite team, your favorite players, and get customized highlights, right. stories, and breaking news right on Top your home feed. Six, Follow five, the action five. with Game 10, where 3D Rangers replays add back. another dimension. Plus, notifications can keep you connected up. to every pitch, every hit, every Rangers game. Baseball. The MLB app. Baseball, your way. Download it now for free from the App Store or Google Play. Blackout and other restrictions apply. Major League Baseball trade parts used with permission. The best mornings start with the best morning show in the game. MLB Central. How are you feeling? D-Row, Lauren, and Row Flow tee up baseball's latest buzz with a little stuff. Sorry about that. I'm talking. I thought I hit the mute button. Let me say that again. Top of the six, five, five, Rangers baseball. Side corner for a strike, nothing into the count. So we're dead even after five innings, and we've got four innings to decide this thing here. Here comes the 0-2. And that just missed. Ooh, fastball just a little inside that time to half to make it a ball and two strikes. Half is two for three. Double to drive in a run his last time up, the play in which the uh, Cubs got two runs. This ball gets yanked down the right field line, but hooking foul over the screen into the seat. Well out of play. So we'll keep it at a ball and two strikes here to have to be followed by Suzuki and then Bellinger against uh, Jose Urania, who came in to get the final out in the fourth. So he begins his second and full inning of work in here. This game, ball is so hit into right let's see field. Let's see will have it fall in front of him for the base knock. So Ian Happ has his third hit well, of the day. There we go. This after getting only one hit total in the first two games. So he's on board to begin the Cubs half uh -huh. of the sixth. And that will bring up Seiya Suzuki, who is one for three today with a single. Do not give up a, a rap. score. Why is he still in the game? That single coming back in the first inning. Oh, yeah. Young as a beast. Pitch is outside got a lot of, of good young talent. Batter. Four ball one. Cubs now five runs, eight hits, two errors. A lot of good young the Rangers talent, five including runs, six hits Josh and Young. One error. And through five innings, each club leaving seven men on base. Here's a ball hit to the right side. Walsh has it. He'll throw to second for one. The return throw to first is not in time. Mm. You can't they get, get a double the play, lead Walsh. On an interesting play there, Let's go, Walsh baby. was inside we'll the runner half. We would have preferred they were two side by side as Walsh was going to get the ball and then as he got the ball 
I suppose he was just thinking immediately, okay, it'll be quicker to throw to second. Couldn't he have just reached over and tagged him? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> he probably wasn't even thinking about exactly where half was. As this pitch to Bellinger is high and outside, ball one. It was just odd because you've got two opposing players running a parallel path towards second, and uh, Walsh decided to throw him out. So Suzuki reaches on the fielder's choice. This breaking pitch hits the outside corner for a strike to Bellinger, and it's one ball and one strike. Yeri Rodriguez is warming now in the Rangers' bullpen, right-hander. Has yet to pitch in this series, though he's warmed up on more than one occasion. Fastball from Arrhenius, swing and a miss by Bellinger, and it's now one ball and two strikes. Go ahead and get his ass out. Don't give him an opportunity. Bellinger has Let's go Rangers twice. baseball. He's 0 for 1 in the ball game. Arrhenius, a quick glance over to Suzuki, and now the 1-2. Swing and a high pop-up, right side of the infield. Walsh is calling for it on the dirt. And now one step across the line in foul ground. He puts it away to get Bellinger for the second out. Julian Merriweather, the right-hander, is throwing in the Cubs bullpen right now. Who did pitch on opening day. Hey, Rangers baseball is sponsored by Progressive. See why over 28 million drivers. Be nice. Go ahead and get out this in and unscathed. On the road. See for yourself at Progressive.com. Take right, it to the Morel bottom of the sixth, get some runs. His big three-run home run got us started today. We'll look at a pitch outside for ball one. He's also fly to deep left center and pop. I like Morell. I like Morell a lot. So one for three on the afternoon. Cubs got a good Set young team. Marina and the 1-0 pitch, a swing and a miss. Strike. Marina going to the change there. And that levels the count now to one ball and one strike. No, Morrell, two hits in each of the first two games of this series. As we said earlier, picking up where he left off in 23. This pitch is outside, two and one the count. He finished the regular season last year with hits in each of the last four games. So he now has a seven-game hitting streak over two seasons. This pitch is outside of the count, three and one. And if he gets another hit right. here today. Those games don't count. That will give get out him of here. six consecutive two-hit games over two seasons. He's got Suzuki at first with two men out. Three and one here to Morrell. And the pitch is hit on the ground to short. And Duran is there. There you go. Underhand toss over to Simeon to get the force on Suzuki to end the frame. No runs a hit. Cubs leave a man five and a half complete. And we're tied 5-5 on the Louisiana Hot Sauce Rangers Radio Network. We make sure hackers don't mess with tech. All right. Made sure I did that right this time. <laughs> Over here messing around too much behind the scenes. But that's okay. Texas 5, Cubs 5. Let's go get some, y'all. Plasma and join the Founders Club when you donate in our opening month. Julian Merriweather coming into pitch now for Chicago. We saw him on uh, opening night as he was the first out of the bullpen 
when Justin Steele went down with that hamstring injury. Merriweather in that uh, I had to check for commercial breaks. Baseball commercials are a lot shorter. He a Simeon lot shorter than basketball or football. Uh, on a ground ball to well, Anthony we working Hinton. it out. And so here in the sixth, he takes on Simeon, again, who he walked on uh, on Let's Thursday. Go, Simeon Marcus. having a great day at the plate, two for three. He swings here and hits one deep out into left field. Tockman going back to his left, reaches out on the run, hauls it in on the mm, track good right grab. in front of his own bullpen. A long run there. Marcus for came up to track that one down. Simeon Let's go close top to of the line up. Let's get some hit. runs. And second for extra bases today. But he is a loud first out here in the bottom half of the sixth. It brings up Wyatt Langford. Rangers baseball brought to you by Globe Life. Everyone has beneficiaries. Now Not the way this, <coughs> excuse me, the Globe way Life this young man has been swinging the bat, beneficiary, including today. So one away for Langford. Wouldn't surprise me if we get a home run right here. Merriweather offering downstairs for ball one. Let's go. Let's go, Ranger. Let's go, Langford. Langford, a two-run triple his last time up. The 1-0 is a check swing foul off the netting over by the Rangers dugout. To even the count here at one ball and one strike. First triple this season for the ball club. Langford has also walked and struck out, so one for two today with a couple of runs batted in. Here comes the 1-1. That's inside, really tight, and uh, Wyatt with a slow spin out of the box. The head on the count here at two balls and one strike. Langford hit fifth on opening night, sixth last night, hitting second in the order today with Seeger getting a scheduled day off as this pitch is low. And that'll make it three balls and one strike. Make him throw you something good, young man. Make him throw you something good. 5-5. Five, five. Knotted up here in the final game of this series. Rangers going for the sweep. Cubs trying to salvage at least one, the 3-1. And that's a late strike call on the inside corner, a front door slider from the right-hander Merriweather, and it's now three balls and two strikes. Merriweather, a product of the Oklahoma Baptist. Uh, Shawnee, Oklahoma. 3-2 pitch is hit into the air, deep out into there center. There you field. go. going back, slows. Slow, no which means nothing. <laughs> Try to get a drive on it, though. Of Wyatt Langford. Two up, two, two down. Eight here in the Ranger half Almost the seventh in his stretch time. And that brings up Josh Young. Joshua. Young 0 for 3 is reached on the fielder's choice. Flied out to right. Last time up, he struck out swinging. The right-hander, Merriweather, out of the stretch. And the pitch to Josh is taken low for ball one. Merriweather last year with the Cubs, 69 relief appearances, a 3-3-8 ERA. Not a 5-1 and one record. Appreciate you hanging out, Ian. Save. The 1-0. Yeah, the and Rangers got a deep team. Two balls we can sit and people no and the people that come up behind them right <laughs> ready to go. To the big leagues during the COVID short in 2020 campaign with Toronto. Let's go, Joshua. Appeared with the Blue Jays in 2021 and again in 2022. This offering is a fastball up and in. He's fallen behind a young here at three balls and no strikes. Cubs got three in the first, two in the fourth. Rangers two in the second, three in the fourth. And we are tied at five. Merriweather with the set. Here's the 3-0 pitch. That's at the top of the zone for a strike. Josh was taking all the way there. That was a borderline call. So now Young awaiting the 3-1. And here it comes. And that's hit out into right field. Suzuki is there and loses the ball. What? It goes by him and all the way to the wall. That Young's better not be an second. error. And now digging hard for third. Here's the relay. Young slides. He is safe at third base. Save. Save. Give him a triple. Suzuki looked like he had that measure. Give him a triple. But was fighting it all the way and perhaps <laughs> was trying to pick it out of the lights and could not haul it in. He was certainly in the right position. But as that ball got closer and closer to him, 
he wasn't so sure where the ball was. Yeah, I think you're right. It didn't look like he saw it. And Josh Young gambling, going for third on that. Had the throw been oh, they're on gonna target, score they would have The throw was in time, but it was just far enough off the bag toward left field that he was able to get around the tag. So a lights-aided triple. Here's nice Adolis Garcia. Nice triple. And he swings Joshua and hits one Young. high into the air, shallow center. Nah. Ballinger and Swanson coming together. Garcia and wanted it, it too bad. it will be the shortstop Swanson who makes the grab, mm. although he wasn't too sure. Mm. He takes care of Garcia for the final out in the inning. No That's runs, right. a hit. Young is stranded at third through six. Chicago five, Texas five on the Louisiana Hot Sauce Rangers Radio Network. in 13 games over four different stints with the Rangers last season. We'll take on five, six, and seven in the order for Chicago here in the seventh. We're tied at five, and Rodriguez with a slider connects with the top of the zone for strike one here to Dansby Swanson. Swanson one for two with a double and a walk today. The right-hander deals, and this pitch is in there for a strike right at the bottom of the zone. And uh, Swanson behind in the count now at nothing and two. Rodriguez, 26 years of age, native of Santiago in the Dominican Republic. And there's a slider on the inner half for a called third strike. So he strike went top of the zone, three. bottom of the zone, Gotta go sit down, young portion sir. of the zone to get Swanson looking. Beautiful front door slider that was headed right for the knees of Swanson and uh, bent over, just shaved that inside corner. So a good start here for Rodriguez as he takes on Michael Bush, and he'll heat up the fastball to 98, and the lefty with a swing and a miss for strike one. Bush has struck out twice his other time up, a fly ball out to the warning track in left center. Next offering is hit by Bush into left field. Langford frozen. Now he'll walk in a few steps to make the one-hand grab. We'll take to three up, Bush three down. Let's get out. one more. The two quick outs here. For Yeri Rodriguez. Yeri so Rodriguez. Nico Horner. Rangers baseball brought to you by Balconis. Discover Balconis distilling the original Texas whiskey. So here's Horner, 0 for 2. Was hit by a pitch his last time up. Second time he's been hit by a pitch in this series. And Rodriguez starts him off with a fastball at the top of the zone for strike one. Rodriguez working fairly rapidly here. Delivers this pitch, and Horner hits it down the right field line. A long run for Carter, and he'll haul it in just inside Good the line. Good job. Three up, a one, two, three, three down. Inning. That's a fast Gary inning. Rodriguez, the one, two, three inning brought to you by Sight Pro Equipment Rentals. One, two, three. No hassle inning. 
All right, seventh inning stretch time. Let's join public address announcer Chuck Morgan. And Marianne Cotillo. They will now perform God Bless America. Middle of the seventh here in Arlington. The Rangers and Cubs are tied five apiece on the Louisiana Hot Sauce Rangers Radio. On Apple TV Plus, Fridays are for baseball. Watch live double. Rangers 1053 the fan Ezekiel Duran leads off the seventh inning here for Texas Rangers and Cubs seem like Ezekiel Duran was Zeke is leading off the last inning infield hits and a stolen base let's get today. another single sir well, let's get the up. double this time drifts into the seat appreciate y'all hanging out with me Sunday the afternoon dugout. baseball championship style followed by Kisner and then Walsh those that do right is in a good game with the Cubbies Merriweather beginning his second inning of relief work right hander delivers and there's a swing and a miss on a slider and Zeke behind in the count here at nothing and two. Merriweather, a guy who last year with the Cubs on occasion would go beyond one inning. Handful of times last year, he went to as many as six outs. Here comes the 0-2. And Merriweather stops in mid-motion as time was granted to Ezekiel Duran. A lot of times a pitcher will just throw through in that situation. Of a late timeout call. Merriweather uh, uh, clearly visibly frustrated, tosses that ball aside, wants a new baseball. As he reaches down and come on, Merriweather, get it together. Slams it onto the back slope. Throw the, the ball. Middle. Don't be upset. Take a deep breath. And time. let Duran hit a home Here run. Here comes the 0 2. <laughs> Swing like and miss. That. He struck him out. I, huh? I think there, Merriweather was Go just. Go sit down, Duran. So Forget fastball. what Poltois talking about. I'm going to throw it by One him, down. And he did. And Let's go, baby. Out. And not necessarily in the strike zone either. I think he was uh, above the top of the zone. So one away, and here's Andrew Kisner. Kisner is 0 for 3. Reached on an error and scored in the second. And since his 
struck out twice. And the first offering to Kisner, a hard slider, swing and a miss. Four strike one. Kisner, in his only previous encounter with Merriweather, struck out. And Merriweather was a strikeout pitcher last season with Chicago. Here's a fastball top of the zone, swing and a miss, and it's nothing in two. He fanned 98 last season in 72 innings of work. Now Kisner at 0-2 calls time. This is All granted, these 0-2 well counts. Merriweather was you guys ready keep falling behind. Down. Activity in the Chicago pin. The left Try to get ahead, middle. make it throw something good. Warming up. The 0-2. And that fastball is high. Amaya tried to frame it and bring it down, but Nestor Seha wasn't having it. And it's a ball and two strikes here to Kisner. The right-hander. Ready. Kicks and fires. And this ball is hit hard into center. Bellinger coming on, and he'll be there to make the mm. grab. Bellinger was stationed shallow in center, and that enabled him to turn that from a hit into an out. So Good two play. It's okay. Here in the last of the seventh brings up Jared Walsh. Jared, the see if you can get a little rally going, sir. To your favorite ballpark. You About to take this bad boy to the top of the offers, eighth. Access, five, five game. Much more. Bullpens pitching. Ballpark app today. This is when you start right, to Walsh worry. One for three. <laughs> With as far as the Rangers go, because hit in the dirt behind the plate. So strike nothing the set with our bullpen. We definitely right still learn in the Rangers. Three what we have, what we don't have. Four. Around that, he uh, grounded Let's out go, in the second, and then fly to left in the fifth. It's five five as we play here in the seventh. Two men out, nobody on. The 0 one, and the fastball comes in upstairs. So make it one ball and one strike here to Walsh. If Walsh can get on board here, Evan Carter bats next. The right-hander setting at the tummy, comes home, swing and a miss. Slider down mm -hmm. that time. And uh, to Walsh behind Mary the field out here at pitch. 22. Not giving much at all. Walsh to pull. The right fielder Suzuki also playing him to pull. The one two. And that's on the outside corner for a called third strike. Mm. A well placed backdoor slider. Everybody go sit Walsh down. And the Rangers three up, three order. down. And we head to the eight. Still, Cubs five, Rangers five on the Louisiana Hot Sauce Rangers Radio Network. All right, Matt, thanks. Mike Talkman first up against Yuri Rodriguez, who retired the side in order in the seventh. And the first pitch slider is swung on and missed. 
Puckman opened no, two. He's right out, struck you out, walked in What's up? Run. He's batting eighth. Hey, I definitely Miguel appreciate Amaya the compliment. As Rodriguez misses hey, the baseball time had to, you know, Potois, I'm always trying to up my game in some form or fashion. Five runs, eight hits for the Cubs. 3D mode. Can't watch the game? Yes, you can. The only home run At Potois, coming off home the of Live Sports Morales Audio. In the first inning. The pitch is a strike to Talkman, one and two. Simeon has three RBIs on a single and a double. Langford, two RBIs on a triple. Now that accounts for the Rangers' runs. The one-two offering, and that's high, two and two. And Langford hitting second today, so all the Ranger RBIs have come from the top two guys in the order. In the bottom of this inning, Carter, Tavares, and Simeon are due with Langford in the hole. Two and two, here comes Rodriguez, and he missed down low. A slider and the count at three balls and two strikes. That slider comes in in the mid-80s from Yuri Rodriguez. Fastball mid to upper 90s. He works off the it's definitely first been a good ball game. That's sleeve. for sure. The number 57. Here is the payoff pitch. Swung on in, fisted foul straight back. Thought maybe the Cubs the was going to run away blue with it at the beginning. Your yard into a winner. Texas Gardeners have trusted the, the Rangers blue bottle bats for decades. Our lineup kills insects, cures diseases, hung controls in there. weeds, and more. Bio Advanced, proud partner of the Texas Rangers. Three balls, two strikes, the count on Mike Talkman. The left-handed batter swings and fouls another one back. These are all very competitive. Yeah, I'm working on my scoreboard. Rodriguez. If they're not in the zone, they're very close Come to on. the perimeter of the zone. Yeah, he looks sharp, looks very calm, too. Hector Neris is up in the Cubs bullpen. <coughs> Here's Excuse the pitch. Me. Just outside. There we Rodriguez go. thought he had him. But that is not the way home plate umpire Nestor Sejas. He didn't see it the same way. And Talkman is aboard. Okay. Sejas had a good game. Rodriguez. Not much complaining Let's go going pitching. on. Last Let's night, go pitching. Carlos Torres had a sensational game. According to uh, umpire scorecards, he By missed the way, only five happy pitches Easter all night. Everybody. Which was a 97% percent Everybody successful. not religious, but for those who are, Here's a Maya. happy Easter He's to not you. Budding. And he takes a strike. It is 0-1. Uh, Young at third, playing even with the bag against a possible bunt. And Walsh holding the runner, Talkman, at first. Amaya, two for three, two singles and a ground out. Simeon and Duran, a double play depth. We're tied at five. Here's the pitch. Swung on, slow ground ball to third. It's off the leg of the batter. That is a foul ball. So Rodriguez uh, gets ahead in the count here to uh, Miguel Amaya at nothing and two. Amaya had 53 big league games last year. Hit just over 200 with five home runs. Splitting the catching now with the veteran Jan Gomes. Amaya wearing bright red batting gloves and the long red sleeves as well. Underneath the gray uh, road uniform with Chicago in blue across the front. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Swung on and missed. He struck him out. Struck Elevated the out. fastball at 98. Got to go got sit down, homeboy. We We're needed tied at that. Five with one out and one on in the eighth. Get a double play ball. Take He's it to the bottom of the eighth. Going. After grounding out his first time, he has singled, doubled, and singled. And he's driven in a run. Got to get some runs. You don't want to play close with the Cubs. Duran plays way over toward the middle against half batting from the left side. And, of side. course, the Cubs saying the same thing. We don't want to play close to with the Rangers. This is inside. That one almost got past Kins Kisner, who had to lunge to his right to snare that one just behind the batter's hips. His ball one on half. No home runs today. Half Somebody bound to get one. University of Cincinnati. 1-0. Oh. That is outside. Two balls and no strikes. That is the alma mater of one Sandy Koufax. Two and oh the count here on a half with Suzuki on deck. Short lead for Talkman. And the pitch is swung on, popped up foul, third base side. And Kisner over, but that one's back behind the on-deck circle, about six rows in. And the count at two balls and a strike. Oakland trying to salvage a game in their series against Cleveland. 
is leading today three to nothing in the top of the fourth. Paul Blackburn, the starter today. Let's go pitching. Let's get out of this inning. They have not been drawing very well in Oakland, as you might suspect. They had 5,000 last night on Saturday night. The pitch swung on, a little looper out to left. Base hit over the head Ew. of Josh Young. Stopping at second is Talkman. Uh. As Hap takes that the other way and delivers his See what I mean? You don't want to play hit. too close. Three singles and a double. Because here comes the top today. of the lineup. With runners at first and second and one out. With the game tied at five, here is Seiya Suzuki. And with Langford playing shallow out in left, he was able to get to that ball quickly. No chance really for Young to be able to make the play. And because Langford got there, he keeps Talkman from advancing to third. It's like Maddox double play ball, still in effect. Uh, Need Rodriguez a ground now. ball, though. Suzuki, the batter, one for four. Had a single his first time up and scored. The Rangers have left-hander Jake Latz up and throwing. Now Latz, who is yet to appear in a game this year. Getting ready with a lefty Cody Bellinger on deck. And now the home plate umpire Nestor Seha goes out to break up the conversation. The break Cubs it up. Home Guys, let's go. Home opener tomorrow pitch clock in effect nowadays. Pitch the clock, Rockies. batter's Shota box clock. <laughs> Games do go faster, though, so you can definitely Cubs. appreciate that. Two and a half hour baseball game versus a four hour Colorado game. Colorado playing Arizona again today, and the Diamondbacks leading 3 0 in the bottom of the third. Let's go, Texas. Let's go. <coughs> Rodriguez ready. A look at second and the pitch to Suzuki. He just missed with that one. Do you care to know what the Chicago weather forecast is for tomorrow? Sure. Forecast high of 49 degrees with a 65% chance for rain. Uh, no. That's terrible weather. <laughs> one and oh. There's a swing and a dribbler foul at the plate. Uh, one and one. I thought you were going to say be playing baseball outdoors in Chicago <laughs> tomorrow. By the way, there's a little snowflake on Wednesday in Chicago. No, nah, they're going to cancel both of those of games. Snow on Wednesday. Great. <laughs> well, the Yankees have scored a run in Houston. They now lead the Astros four to three in the top of the night. Beat the Houston one one pitch. Astros. Three Breaking straight games. Low, Start and the Astros off. I don't think the Astros have started a season on three in. Right here, a 5-5 tie. The Cubs have out-hit the Rangers 9-7. That matters. Bachman's at second and half is at first. Only three games? That matters. Those are three Gary Rodriguez games. on the hill, working 2-1. and one. Tie here kind of game. Swung on and a slow ground ball to third. Young's got it. The second one. Simeon cannot get off at third mm, first. No double that ball play was hit ball. too slowly. Eee. Simeon wisely deciding to eat the ball at second base. Sorry, Suzuki I got the lead runner, off. though, right? So the Rangers get the middleman. Oh, middleman. Third goes Talkman on the play. Hap is forced out, and Suzuki now runs it first. It is up to Bellinger with men at first and third and two outs. And what is huh. Bruce Bochy going to okay. do? Okay, Cody. Ready in the bullpen. We want He's Cody just to Yuri pop Rodriguez. the ball straight up in the air. Bellinger like the two third walks, pitch. has flied out and fouled out. And now they're going to put him on. They're mm. going to I'm going to give him a chance. Bruce I don't blame him do. for not giving Wave him first, Bellinger a chance because he's liable to hit a Morel. home run. But now we got to face Morrell. That's even worse. Out, out and That's worse. Out. He has five hits in 13 at bats in huh. this series. That was interesting he's what the Rangers did because Morrell has a much hotter bat. Rodriguez and Bellinger. Set, delivers swing and a miss. Straight. Blew that fastball right by him. Come on, Rodriguez. He put you on the spot hour. here. Talkman at third is the go-ahead run in the game. Suzuki is at second. Bellinger is at first. Here's the pitch. There's a strike on the inside Straight. corner. Straight. Fastball at 97. Okay. They know and something Rodriguez I don't know when it comes to Rodriguez two. versus Morrell. Such a well-located pitch. Put well, right locate on one more. Of that Get out of this corner. inning. Oh, and two on Morrell. Righty to righty. Rodriguez set. Here comes the pitch. Swung on and fouled back. Mm. Uh, both Morrell uh -huh. and Rodriguez from the Dominican. Rodriguez, by the way, does not have a big league win. He was 0 and 1 last year. Well, if he can get out of this and the Rangers can get a run in the bottom of the inning, he could pick up his first big league victory. 
He's in on the count here at 0-2 on Morrell. Dansby Swanson would be next. The Rangers hope to see him in the ninth. Gray went three and two thirds. He allowed all five runs, four of them earned. Orania went two and a third, now Rodriguez. Here's the 0-2, swung on and fouled back. The calls to the bullpen brought to you by your North Texas Honda dealers. Always helpful. 0-2 the count on Morrell. Rodriguez set, fires. Swung on, there's another foul ball just beyond the Cubs' third base dugout. Nice adjustment by Morrell just to make contact there as Rodriguez shifted gears and went to the slider. Rodriguez is pumping strikes. He's thrown 31 pitches. Let's go, Rodriguez. All these foul balls mean he's he seeing it. Again. He's making contact. Pushes off and lets it fly. And he just missed. Oh, the entire mm. Ranger team was on its way off the field mm. toward the first base dugout. <laughs> and Nestor Sayers saw that pitch as being a little bit wide. And we see it again, and it probably was, but it was close. Still a very competitive offering. And at 98 miles an hour. First ball. Ready again is Rodriguez, the 1 2. Fouled off to the right. We do not need this game to go this to 9 to 5 continues. right here. I mean, this has been impressive, Rodriguez has been able to throw strikes both arm side and glove side consistently. He's located Morrell really keep well. Following them off consistently. Talkman away from third, Suzuki Let's from second, defense. Bellinger from first. One ball, two strikes, the pitch. Swung on and popped up. This is playable for Josh Young. He crosses the foul line, now moves back toward fair territory, makes the catch Good to job, Joshua. foul right on the Man, rim. that was a tough inning. And a great job by I ain't that was worse. What's up, Shan Shan? This is loaded jam. To the bottom of the eighth we go. Carter Tavares on Apple TV Plus. Fridays are for big. They didn't give us much uh, warning on that commercial break. Appreciate y'all. single to Corey Seager, or walked Wyatt Langford intentionally and got out of the inning when he got Jonah Heim to ground out. He takes over in the tie game here to face Carter Tavares. Okay, and bottom Simeon. of the eighth inning. We Tavares need to get some hot bats going. Cub, Come on, young Carter. Pounder who leans very heavily and got on base damn near every pitch. time. Let's do it one more time. Evan Carter today, two walks and reached on an error. He's been on base all three times. He has scored twice. The pitch to him is just outside. Nick Madrigal is the new third Sunday baseman. baseball championship style Texas Rangers. Just slightly in on the grass. And of course the, the Rangers broadcast. Split each about 50% of the time. And 
Hope y'all enjoying 3D mode. The count is one and one. You watching the game. Nice job by Merriweather. He Literally, went everything innings. you see happening on the screen is happening in real life. Jose Leclerc up in the Rangers bullpen with a tie ball game in the bottom of the eighth inning. One and one. And that one is in for a strike. Mm -hmm. Chris Bochy saying today he would one give Kirby two. Yates Let's the go, day off Carter. most likely. And probably Spores and Robertson too. And as it turned out, because of the job Urania and Rodriguez did, he's been able to do that and set it up for Leclerc in the ninth. One and two. Swung on and missed. Mm. Uh, Carter uh, finally strikes Carter out. Carter got to go sit his one ass out. down for, for the time first time five. today. Leody Tavares is the batter. Mm. He's walked, struck out, and flied out. In the Leody night, against Leclerc, Leody the Cubs will be what you going to do, Swanson, young man? Bush and a Horner. I've been Numbers quiet five, all six, day. And seven in their order. Here's the pitch to Leody. And that just missed outside for a ball one. Madrigal stays in at third against a possible bunt. Leody tried to bunt his way on opening day, was thrown out by the pitcher Steele, but Steele got injured on that play. 1-0 pitch, that is outside. And then his next time up in a sacrifice bunting situation, Leody was unable to get the bunt down. Fouled the Matter first of fact, one that was the worst the bunt, bunt attempt on. that the bunt known to baseball. Off, he bunted on his own and fouled another one off. 2-0 pitch, line drive, base hit. There you go, field. boy. Damn the bunt. That one right I need a base hit. Madrigal. Good job, young Leone man. Tavares is on with one out in a tie ball game. And Marcus Simeon is coming up. Let's go Simeon top of the lineup. To center, Rangers to rally. Left center. Rangers rally. Let's get it. Double. So he has been on Let's it today. Let's get it. And he bats here against Hector Neris with one out and one on. Leone just going with that pitch. It was a fastball for the outside part of the plate. Simeon against Neris, two for seven, a home run in his career. Here's the pitch. Marcus looks, and it's a strike over the outside corner. Oh, and one. Throw to first and diving back in is Tavares. Uh, Hector Neris, uh, much more of a Good job, pitcher. delicious ham on Easter Sunday. Did you cook it? Wyatt Lightfoot did you is purchase the deck batter. I'm just He's asking, no offense. Game in the eighth. <laughs> Here comes the pitch. I'm sure Swan if it was delicious, you cooked short, it. Sliding for it. Great play by Swanson. Long throw in time. As Swanson slid to his backhand side, made the pick on the outfield turf, sprung up to his feet, and threw out Marcus Simeon. Mm. That is a glittering play by the Gold Glove shortstop. But moving to second on the play, Yodi Tavares. And he Man, was scoring position. A situation where a single could put the Rangers in front in the eighth. And that ball actually popped out of Swanson's glove for just a second. Yeah. To out of midair to make the throw. I'm capless right three, now. Two -run but uh, it would be on and backwards. The splitter backs up. For Inside, a out, run. and backwards. How about Langford that? Also a walk today. So he's four for 11 with three Either way, we need a route. Good job, I could second it. in the pitch, and Langford takes a strike. What added five orange runs, and brown sugar? For Texas. I don't eat pork, but I, I bet it was Cubs. good. I can smell it from here. Inning. Josh Young on deck. Here's the pitch. Langford takes low. Make it two balls. Make him throw you something good, youngster. Corey Seager with the day off, and uh, Bruce Bochy said he will not play. He won't be coming off the bench. Two and one the count. And here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Mm. And it's two and two. Today's attendance, 32,078. It's a lot of people watching baseball. 37,000, now 32,000. A good the baseball game at seven that. A game for well played teams. on both sides. Well, the two-two delivery, swung on line drive to left. It's hooking. It is foul. Ooh, I see they Back took to one of base. the errors away from the Cubs. Time so now they have two errors. Rangers, one error. 
Some decent play game. Baseball, you won't see all that. Get yours at rangers.com slash 2-0 game. Ready again is Neris. And here's the pitch. Langford takes low. Man, he lays off some close pitches. And the count has gone full. Full First count. Base is hey, man. I like Langford. Batter against the right Other than the pitcher. power. Smart at Speedy the plate. Speedy Tavares at second with two Smart outs. Smart at High the game, plate. bottom of the eighth. Neris back to the set. Payoff pitch. Langford swings and fouls it at the plate. He stays alive. He has seen a total of 24 pitches today. This is his fifth plate appearance. Let's go, youngster. Harris with a new baseball and ready to go. The payoff pitch struck him out looking. Mm. Got to go sit down. Come do what I'm doing. Guessed wrong and what was a <laughs> fastball. He was Take it to the, the top split. of the ninth. Appreciate so y'all hanging out. out the Sunday Ranger baseball Rangers no style. Runs, they hit one left. The Rangers are three for 12 with men in scoring position. The Cubs are two for 10. Baseball is in full swing. Oops. Tickets from the Texas Lottery. You can win top prizes from. Nico Jose Leclerc is on the pitch for the Rangers in the ninth inning of a tie ball game. Rangers five, Cubs five. Dansby Swanson first up for the Cubs. One for three, a double, a walk, and two strikeouts. Righty to righty as Leclerc comes home, and it is outside for a ball. The 30-year-old right-hander worked an inning on the opening day. Well, here we go. Give up Top of the ninth inning. Uh, Who going to get what first? Ball. Other than that, it'll be pitch. the second out of miss. three games that we go into extra the, innings uh, with the Cubs. The what up, Carl? Run on Happy Easter. Card, although he didn't Happy give up Easter, hit. sir. I appreciate you joining us on a Sunday the afternoon. Play where the foul ball wasn't called a foul Rangers ball. baseball. Let's go, Here baby. The one one. Swing and a miss. Good fastball up and away at 96 as he gets ahead of Swanson. Michael Bush on deck and then Nico Horner. I see the Cubs the did kind of get on Leclerc's head the, the other the night a little bit. Young yeah, I'll take Durant. that back. He did get out the inning, but it was a tough five. inning. There have been lots of scoring chances today. Most of them going unfulfilled. The one-two offering outside and low. The last runs were scored in the fourth inning. Cubs brought a 3-2 lead into the inning, scored two in the fourth, two up at the 5-2. to two. Rangers got three in the bottom of the fourth, and nobody has scored since. The 2-2 two -two on the way. Swung on in a high drive hit to right center field. Tavares on the run, has a play, slows as he approaches the track, and puts one it up. away. Two to go. Swanson Oops. is retired one to start down. the ninth. 
Two to go. Brings up Michael Bush. The Astros have lost to the Yankees. Not another again. one. How about that? They lose all four games in that series. Oh, four Josh games. Peter they had a four-game set. So Astros start this season Bush off 0 and one four. Outside for a ball one. What? Birdie was the winner. Rangers need to go ahead and win this one. <laughs> Get a good three-game lead, three-and-a-half game lead. One and oh, swung on and fouled back. So the Astros at home going back to last year's postseason have lost nine in a row in mm. their building. They shook. Rangers got them shook. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, because you we'll think that they would at least of weeks. Would split with the one Yankees one. or they would at least That's get high. one victory. Two and one. Astros, of and that was in Houston, by the way. That wasn't in New York. And then the following weekend, the Rangers will be in Houston for games the 12th, 13th, and 14th. Here's the pitch. Fouled back. That's the start hmm. of a three-city trip for the Rangers that features three with Houston, four in Detroit, and three in Atlanta. Next Sunday's game here is a night game for Sunday night baseball, and so will be the Sunday game in Atlanta. Sunday night baseball, two, two Ranger pitch, style. Three and two. I guess when you wait for that, champions, people want to see you. <laughs> and the Rangers will have Let's two go pitching. on Sunday Le night Clark. baseball in the next three weeks. Full count here with one out in the ninth, and the game tied at five. Leclerc set the payoff pitch. He walked him. Missed mm. down and away mm. with a straight change. Here we go with this so shit. Bush is on with one out. And that will bring up Nico Horner. Ranger pitchers have walked six today. That's too many. Horner has grounded That's out. That's six free opportunities to get a man out. in score position a to a get a run. He is 0 for 9 on the season. Both teams have left a lot of people on, on the base. Right side. Infield at double play depth. The clerk deals. And the pitch yes, sir. Sweat. Man, you don't want to start your season off getting swept. Today, which is unusual. You, you want to at least get one victory. Have something positive to take from it, especially at home. Shit. Here's the 1-0. There's a slow ground ball hit toward third. It's a fair ball, and Josh Young has no play. Oh, Lord. It as he barehands that ball just in front of the bag. And Nico Horner has what amounts to a swinging bunt base hit, moving Bush to second. Well, that and sucks. Now they have two men on base. Talkman. Looked like that had some spin, enough spin to maybe right, come no off outs. the turf, hit the dirt, and maybe go foul. But it started spinning the other way and stayed fair. Not mm. much Josh could uh, do with it. So here's Talkman. He's walked twice, struck out, and flight out. 0 for 2. 5-5 five, five our score. A pitch is high for a ball. That is the 10th Chicago hit of the day. They total just 11 in the first two games. One ball count on Talkman with a Maya to follow. And the pitch is outside. It is 2 and 0. Oh. The Cubs, by the way, have all right handed batters on their bench Jan Gomes, Garrett Cooper, Miles Mastroboni. Leclerc Can we get somebody count, out, please? Oh. My double play ball. Triple play. Here comes the get pitch. Out the <laughs> Strike call. Take it to the bottom Fast of the ball ninth. Away. Jacob Latz, the lefty, is back That's up. That's a little bit Rangers too hopeful, family. the way we out here pitching. The second time Crowd not making noise. PA announcer Two not making count. noise. Here's the pitch. Just outside. Oh, and my goodness, Clark. Strike. Duran way over toward the middle at shortstop. Young off the line about 25 feet at third. The outfield fairly shallow and around toward left. Pitch to Talkman, swung on, fouled back. And the count has gone full. Bush is the lead runner at second base. Horner behind him at first base. Three and two. Leclerc is ready, and the payoff pitch. Payoff. He walked him. They're loaded. Oh, Missed my goodness. Low. See, this is a continuation is of the other night. With the bases loaded and one Jeez. out. Jeez. He has two singles. You don't want to keep winning in games and in extra innings because it's not going to go your way majority of the time. 
And it will be the switch hitter Mastroboni coming up here. Batting from the left side. I haven't heard him say somebody warming up. Mike Maddox coming out to uh, talk to Jose LeClerc with Bush at third, Horner at second, and Talkman now on at first. Musical Miranda. Uh, we on the same page. The Cubs hitters Here we go. What they had to uh, go through when they were facing Rodriguez, Gary Rodriguez, with some uh, very uh, competitive bases loaded. Even uh, Leclerc here is missing um, much Zero more outs, than I believe. either of his uh, two predecessors out of the bullpen. So Master nope, Bowie from the left side here against Leclerc. Leclerc has thrown 19 Batting pitches, Amaya. eight of them strikes. Ian Happ is the on-deck batter. He has uh, four hits today. Oh, uh, my goodness. The here we go to the in. bottom There's of the lineup. Out. We're tied. And we walk into the people pitch. at the bottom of the Seven line, to Master Boney which for ball is one. ultimately going to lead take. to a hit. It was a fastball that missed badly. The Ranger mm. outfield Don't play say it like that. A step toward the left, the opposite way. Uh oh, I see you, Zach. The pitch to Master Boney. Swung on, ground ball to second, backhanded by Simeon. He comes home in time for the force. Thank you. Good, good nice job, play by Simeon. Marcus. He had to move to his right. Get the force out at home, place, sir. Smart and baseball. Come home to get the lead runner and preserve the tie. The bases are still loaded. There are two That's outs. Okay. And it will be up to Ian Happ, who has four hits today. Kisner planted his right foot on the plate. His left foot was inside the line. Ian Happ, four third. hits today. In good position there to Hadn't take been able throw. to get him out. Really nice play by Simeon. And now here's yep. Happ, three singles and a double. And uh, RBI Clark has to face out. him. Oh dear. Corner at third with great <laughs> speed is the go ahead run. Five oh, five tie. Shit. The pitch is swung on and fouled back. Foul is straight up so we can get out of this inning. Appreciate y'all hanging out. Galore in this ball game. Sunday afternoon Cubs. baseball, Potois style. 3D mode. Cubs two for Hit that subscribe button for me. Position. Here's the 0 1. Check swing, it is low. He did not go around, says third base umpire Carlos Torres. The Rangers three for Come on, Carlos, give us one, bro. <laughs> I need begging for some help. Corner at third, Talkman at second, Mastroboni at first. Leclerc working one and one. The pitch to Hap. Swung on and missed. There you go. Pulled a string on him with that Slambio. Pull the one more. That's the first time I heard him say the Slambio. Is a strike away Throw from one more Slambio. Dude, we need one Cubs more left slot. The bases loaded last inning. Will they do it again? Texas Rangers. The set by Leclerc and the one-two pitch. Foul back. Appreciate that 3D mode. Yeah, this is a way you really, you are literally watching the game. New baseball for I combine Jose the both of them. Let's do it. Creativity. Leclerc has the sign. He's ready at one and two. He kicks and he fires, and he missed down and away with mm. the changeup. That's mm. the straight change. Mm. Where's the sloppy two, two strikes. The Cubs have left 11 men on base. The Rangers so have a lot of men nine. being left on base. 11. Trying to get that Cub total up to 14. Two balls, two strikes. Leclerc ready. Here it comes. Inside and low ball three. Leclerc. It is a full count with the bases loaded and two outs. Here the we string go. Is out. Man, we these can Rangers, no boy, they put you on the Couple edge really of your seat. Stops by Kisner on Beginning these of the season, pitches. middle of the season. Pitches in the dirt. He's kept right there behind home plate. A 5-5 five, five tie. Leclerc. Come on, Leclerc. Get out this top of the ninth. Time called at the plate by Ian Happ. I understand what Bruce Bochy is doing by not taking him out and saying, Apple, hey, five hits in the series, four you of just today. get us four out of this inning. After grounding out his first time. Three and two. Or they're going to win the game. He walked and he missed outside. Oh, hell. And the Cubs take the lead. On the bases loaded what do you say? Either you're going to get us out this inning outside, or they're going to be leading the game. So Leclerc walks three today. Man, that is 
way and too many that's going walks. To be it for him. I tell you, we have Jacob this bullpen that we really, out, really don't know what they're going to give us this year. Keep it a one-run game. What Can't expect the same results from last year. Four hits, a bases loaded walk, Six, two RBIs. five RBIs. Cubs. Lats coming on to pitch to Suzuki with the Cubs now leading six to five. Back after this with a pitching change on the Louisiana Hot Sauce Rangers Radio Network. Pitching change is in effect. Rangers, <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to play some music and uh, let's hope for the best. Side corner first pitch curve at 77 miles an hour. Lat spent most of last year at Round Rock, made 46 appearances at a 4.10 ERA. I see your LSU. first pitch curve. Let's get him. He sets and delivers 0-1, and he missed the inside with that one, one and one. Lat's working in long blue sleeves. Made one emergency start for the Rangers back in 2021. Three relief appearances for Texas last year. No runs allowed in six in the third. One ball, one strike, the count. 6-5, Cubs lead. Here's the pitch. And that's low on a curve ball. And the count at two balls and one strike. Do not Mike need Dockman this to get out of control right now. Because it is definitely looking like it's ready to get out of control. We just the need Rangers to get to the bottom of the, of the ninth. ninth. They do this end up young, Adolis and Duran with Kisner, the fourth batter, do. Two balls, one strike. Lats set at the belt. Kicks and delivers and misses outside. It is three and one. Well, this inning has seen the three walks and an infield single. Three walks in the ninth inning. You're not winning any baseball games like that. I don't care how good your bats are. Lats behind in the count, three and one. The pitch to Suzuki, fouled back. And the count has gone full. Suzuki Come on, five, man. We're about to walk in another run. The freebies Since we then keep he's getting. Slide out, fouled out, and grounded out twice. Go, y'all. It's a full count with two outs and the base is full, so the runners are getting ready to move. Cody Bellinger waiting on deck. Lats is ready. The payoff pitch. Swung on, line drive, base hit left mm. field. Mm. One run is home. Here mm. comes Mastroboni and he oh, score. Good. Here we it's go. It's a two-run single for Suzuki. And the Cubs lead eight to five. Oh. Bullpen. Well, he got ahead one of the count. And believe me, that's one he word. Swung it was probably ball four, but got to a full count and then uh, took a 3-2 fastball that was up. And uh, pounded it into left. 
Suzuki picks up his first two RBIs of the year. Half stop at second on the play. And here is Cody Bellinger. Bellinger is 0 for 2, and he's walked three times. One of those walks intentional. Yeah. So half now. We're not walking him this Suzuki time. Suzuki on it first, and so the Rangers are here we go. Three for the Ouch. third time in Ouchie. the game. Right, Ronnie. The pitch is outside. Appreciate you joining came us. Back from deficits of three to nothing and five to two. But now down eight five with only three outs to play with. Lats delivers 1-0 and got that one over. Curveball that just barely clipped the inside corner. And the count is 1-1. One and one. Bellinger is the eighth man to bat in the inning. Got a three spot in the ninth inning. Not the, the fifth through the eighth, the clerk. but the ninth. And the pitch from Lats is outside and high. Leclerc threw three 28 first, pitches, only 12 of the strikes. Three in the ninth. Ugh. It's a 2-1 count on Bellinger. And here's the pitch. Swung on and a hard ground ball. Diving for it. Walsh has it go off his glove. Oh, Lord. And everybody's Listen saved. Here comes Hap fans. trying to score. The throw home is late. Oh, Lord. Hap scores I did say this game could get to 9-5. I was thinking more home run. It's 9-5. to five. Uh, Four runs by in Walsh. the top of the ninth for the, the ball Cubbies. went off his glove. Skittered out into short I right. I believe Zach about to try well, to win Simeon some money tonight. was it. Hap. Happy going Easter, Zach. Full steam ahead around third. Just kept on running. And the throw home not nearly in time. So make it a 9-5 game and bring up Nick Madrigal for his first plate appearance. That'll be a single and a run batted in for Bellinger. That run also charged to Leclerc. That'll close the book on him. The runners aboard now at first and third are the property of Lats. Madrigal, the ninth batter of the inning. And he takes high and outside. Suzuki now at third base. And Bellinger at first base. And this is a four-run Cubs ninth inning. I accidentally raised the volume a little bit. Sorry about that. A one-ball count. Here comes Lance, swing and a miss on a changeup. The count is one and one. Four runs in the ninth for the Cubbies. Twelve oh, Cubby magic now for the Cubs. Three of them here in the ninth to go along with three walks. One one, that's low. Two balls in a strike. So the Cubs finally uh, cashing in on opportunities here with a couple of big hits with men in scoring position. Two balls and a strike. Lats unloads. There's a bouncing ball to third. Josh Young has it. Goes the short way to second for the force. That'll close out the inning, but not until the Cubs score four times. And we go to the bottom of the ninth with the Cubs leading the Rangers 9-5 to five on the Louisiana Hot Sauce Rangers Radio Network. Lawn mode. Garden. Hmm. Well, the ninth inning that I was dreading the most at some point in the season, it was obviously going to happen. But we needed to get a good glance to see what these Rangers, the bullpen was going to look like. That didn't work out.
face Young, Adolis, and Duran. And the Rangers need to send more men to the plate than that. Down by four. Young, first ball swinging, fouls one back. He's one for four. Had a triple to right that Suzuki seemed to lose back in the sixth inning. He's also grounded out, flied out, and struck out. Here's the 0-1 offering. There's a swing and a foul ball back. It is 0-2 on Josh Young. Hector Neris worked the eighth. He's the pitcher of record. Rangers so will need to see minimal two. six the batters have come to the plate. Plating three and for the Cubs. Innings. And Zach is going to walk away with a victory. What up, Ed? Appreciate you joining us. I guess I can say the new two. subscriber Jack alert. Swing, went what up, Roman? Slider. Young new out. subscriber alert. Hopefully so. That brings up Adolis Garcia, who's gone 0 for 4 today. Two strikeouts and two pops to short. Tomorrow's game will start at 5.50 Central Time. Our broadcast will begin at 5.15 on 105.3 The Fan and the Rangers Radio Network. Pitch to Adolis. A wild swing and a miss. It is 0-1. 5.50 game time tomorrow with Dunning facing Pepio and Tuesday with Heaney opposing Eflin. One down. And at 12.10 Wednesday, Ivaldi against Savali. Two left for some hope. Here's the 0-1 delivery. Doli spouts it off. It is nothing in two. Well, the Rangers have never led today. They trailed 3-0 after one on a home run by Morrell. Scored two in the bottom of the second on a single by Simeon. Gave up two in the top of the fourth and came up with three in the bottom of the fourth to tie it. An RBI double by Simeon, a two-run triple by Langford, and it stayed 5-5 until the ninth when the Cubs scored four times. The 0-2 outside, one and two. All the Rangers gave them four runs. There was no the major end. hit in that top of nice the ninth in between. Hey. and Yuri Rodriguez. And Have a good one, debut. Ian. Appreciate your brothers. Good to see you. Here's the one-two, up and in, and uh, Adoli started well, to swing. you know what I mean. Up. That levels the count at two and two. Tampa Bay will go into the series tomorrow with a two and two record. Remember, they won 99 games in the regular year last year, but lost both games to the Rangers in that first round series. Both games played at the Trop, where the Rangers are 7-0 and oh in postseason over the years. 2-2, two -two, outside 3-2. and two. During the regular Come years, on, El Bombi, story. get a rally going. Over the last now, we're not scared series, of rallies around here. Two That's for wins, sure. Eight losses, but it has to happen splits. right now. Not with two outs. But Both if nothing else, Garcia. appreciate y'all hanging out. Fisted foul straight back over the street. Sunday afternoon baseball. And a new baseball. Maybe doing Sunday well, night baseball. Not quite sure Dolis yet. Garcia. Gonna here play it by ear. Nonetheless. Balls up and sliders away. Good to see y'all. And that is Alzali's repertoire. Pay and thank pitch. you. Happy East. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. El Bombi. Got to come do what I'm doing. Sit down, Got it sir. In hands. One out two left. Outs with the Cubs leading nine to five. Man, four runs Here in the top of the nine. Well, last year the Cubs won 83 games. They went 83 and 79. They were one. It was going to be hard to sweep the Cubs. Spot. Collapsed late in the year to lose a playoff position. Got to get one. Got their new Astros got them. none. This is the last time the <laughs> we'll Rangers will see them this year unless they play in the World Series. A pitch to Duran, a check swing, and a foul at the plate. Owen won the count. This is uh, Josh Smith now batting for uh, Duran. The first at bat for Josh Smith this year. Duran went two for four. Smith, the left handed batter out of that crouch. Here's the 0 1, and that is inside one ball, one strike. So now that Smith has come to the plate, all the Ranger position players have had a chance to do so this year. Smith did play an inning defensively at short yesterday. One and one the count. The pitch to Josh. Check swing. Did he go? He did not. He did not. And the count is two and one. Smith Let's had a go, very Josh good Smith. spring. Get Hit you a little. 300 and had a number of hard First outs. game action. Said he completely revamped his uh, stance during the offseason. I off think this is his first game plan. I wasn't even paying attention if he Trying didn't mention it or if he did still. mention it. 
two and one, and that's inside. It is three balls and a strike. Just get on base. Rangers need a chain of base runners to need stay alive here. Need a chain of here. something. <laughs> Kisner on deck, then Walsh. Carter would follow if the Rangers are still in it. Jankowski's come out to hit for Kisner. Here's the 3-1, and there's a swing and a miss. It is three and two. So the Rangers are down to their final strike, trailing 9-5. Al's the line to the plate. Swung on and a line drive to right. Suzuki comes on, makes the catch cap high. Well hit by Smith, but that is out number three. And the Cubs have salvaged the final game of this three-game series. They win today by the score of 9-5. The to Cubs five. pulled it Stay out. Stay tuned. Our post-game show is coming up next on the Louisiana Hot Sauce Rangers Radio Network. Hey, I appreciate y'all once again. Rangers fall for the first time this year, and that's okay. Can't win them all, or can you? Or can you? No is the answer. Little potois, daytime ball. I like this, y'all. Y'all have a good afternoon. Happy Easter. Perhaps I'll see y'all tonight.
Sorry about that. <laughs>